The following video is brought to you by Armis, where wisdom always wins. For the solution to make it easier, what we did, what, what we did, first count the total number of petals. This is flower A, and this is flower B. The first for flower A. We find the ratio. Total number of petals are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The total are 10 petals. And how many are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 10 petals are there, out of which only 5 petals are shaded. So the fraction is 5 by 10, which is equals to 1 by 2. Now count same fraction for flower B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here also the total number of petals are 10. But how many are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4 petals are shaded out of the 10. This is 4 by 10 which is equals to 2 by 5. Now we compare 5 by 10 to 4 by 10. So 5 by 10 is flower A and 4 by 10 is flower B. 5 by 10 is greater than 4 by 10. We can also write 5 by 10 is equals to 1 by 2 which is greater than 4 by 10 which is equals to 2 by 5. It means 1 by 2 is greater than 2 by 5. Now go to the options. Our first option is 1 by 2 is greater than 2 by 5. So the correct answer is 10. option A, 2 by 5. Hmm. Question 8. Chris gave two beach balls to each friend who came to his birthday party. He had eight friends at his party. Which equation could be used to find the total number of beach balls Chris gave to his friends at the party? The options are F 8 cross B is equals to 2 G B cross 2 is equals to 8 H 8 under root 2 divided by 2 is equals to b and i b divided by 8 is equals to 2. The solution for this, each friend has two beach balls. Chris gave two balls to each friend, so each friend has two beach balls. Now, he has eight friends. So, eight friend has eight into two, 16 balls. So total balls is, total number of balls Chris gave to his friends is equals to 16. Now check to the option side where this answer is matched. Here for F. 8 cross B is equals to 2. It means B is equals to 2 cross 8. This is not equals to 16. So this is not the correct answer. Next option. B cross 2 is equals to 8. B is equals to 8 divided by 2. This is not equals to 16. So this is not the correct option. Now next. 8 cross 8 divided by 2 is equals to B. It means 8 equals to b into 2 this is not equals to 16 this is not the correct answer now the last option i where b divided by 8 is equals to 2 it means b is equals to 2 into 8 which is equals to 16 so the correct answer is i which is equals to b divided by 8 is equals to 2 Question 9. 
Rosalie drew three figures and shaded parts of each figure. This is first figure. In this four blocks are there and all the four blocks are shaded. In the second figure again four blocks are there but only two blocks are shaded. In the third figure four blocks are there but only three blocks are shaded. Now the question is which mixed numbers is represented <coughs> sorry by the shading of the three figures above. Four options are there a 2 1 by 4 b 2 3 by 4 c 3 1 by 4 d 3 1 by 2. Now the solution for this in this first figure there are four sections 1 2 3 4 and all the four sections are shaded so the friction is for first figure it's 4 by 4 4 by 4 is equals to 1 now for the second figure the total number of sections are 1 2 3 4 but the shaded portion are only 2 so for second figure if we convert it into a friction it's 2 by 4 which is equals to 1 by 2 for the third figure there are four sections 1 2 3 4 but in this only three sections are shaded so for third figure this is 3 by 4 now we have to calculate in the terms of three figures for that we need to add the three fractions of the three individual figures the first figure fraction is 1 second is 1 by 2 and the third is 3 by 4. We have to take the LCM of these three things which is equals to 4. Now this is 4 plus 2 plus 3 which is equals to 9 by 4. Now we have to delete this 9 by 4 in the terms of this mixed fractions. Now our first option is A which is equals to 2 1 by 4. If we convert this mixed fraction into a fraction then this is equals to 4 to the 8 8 plus 1 9 9 by 4 for this this is 4 to the 8 8 plus 8 11 so this is equals to 11 by 4 this is 4 3 the 12 plus 1 13 by 4 and the last one is 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 by 2 now as per our solution the answer is 9 by 4 which is matched to the option A. So the correct answer is option A 9 by 4. Hmm. Question 10. In the picture below 3 2 by 9 of the figures are shaded. In the first figure 9 blocks are there and each block is shaded. In the second figure, 9 blocks are there and each block is shaded. In the third figure, 9 blocks are there and each block is shaded. In the fourth figure, 9 blocks are there but only 2 blocks are shaded. Which fraction is equivalent to 3, 2 by 9? 4 options F, 29 by 4. Second option, 29 by 7. Third option 29 by 9 and the last option is 29 by 36. The solution for this problem is first we have to calculate. For the first figure 9 blocks are there and all total blocks are 9 and each block is shaded. So for first figure the fraction is 9 by 9 which is equivalent to 1. For the second figure, again, 9 blocks are there and each block is shaded. So the option is 9 by 9, just 1. Third figure, 9 blocks are there and each block is shaded. So again, 9 by 9. 
for the fourth figure now the blocks total blocks are nine but the shaded portion is only two blocks so the fraction is two by nine now we have to find out the equivalent of these four blocks the total is total fraction is for the four figures 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 by 9 which is equal to 3 plus 2 by 9 you have to take LCM this is 9 27 plus 2 this is 29 by 9 29 by 9 is the only option which is equivalent to the correct answer of H. So the correct option is H. Correct answer is H. Question 11. Mrs. Tanaka is ordering calendars for the students at four elementary schools. The table below shows the number of students at each of the schools. Students in elementary schools, this is the table where two columns are there. One is for name of the schools and another is for number of students. First name of the school is Greendale in which the students are 1789. Second is John's Park. The students are 1032. The next school is Shady River where the students are 2115. Last is Wakefield. The students are 1992. Question is which is the best estimate of the total number of calendars Mrs. Tanaka needs to order for the students in all four schools. Four options are there. A. 4000 B. 5000 C. 7000 D. 8000 The question is Mrs. Tanaka needs to order the number to order the number of calendars for all the students of these four schools. So first we have to find out the, the total number of students. Because Mrs. Tanaka needs to order the number of calendars for the total number of students. So we, we find out the total number of students to, which is equal to the number of calendars Mrs. Tanaka needs. The total number of students is equal to the sum of the these four students of the four schools. So in first, first school, the students are 1789 plus... 1032 plus 2115 plus 1992. The sum of these four students of our schools are 6928. These are the total number of students of the four schools. Now, Mrs. Tanaka needs to order the number of calendars which is greater than this thing or approximately equal to this thing. Now, the options are A is 4000 which is less than the number of students. So, this is not the option. B, 5000 which is less than the number of students. This is not the correct answer. C, 7000 which is approximately equal to the number of students. So, the correct answer is Option C, 7,000. Question 12. Mr. Jerry, Jerry has four students in his chess club. He will put them in pairs to play a game of chess. The chart below shows the names of the students in the club. Students in chess club. These are the students name which are given. First name is Charles, Erin, 
गेल पाको वॉट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट पेयर्स ऑफ टू स्टूडेंट दैट कैन बी मेड ऑप्शन फर्स्ट एफ एट जी सिक्स एच फोर आई टू सो एज पर द क्वेश्चन मिस्टर जेलिन वॉन्ट्स टू पेयर दीज फोर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द गेम चेस सो लेट स्टार्ट डू पेयरिंग फ्रॉम द चार्ल्स फर्स्ट पेयर इज चार्ल्स एंड एरेन सेकेंड पेयर इज चार्ल्स विथ गेल थर्ड वन इज चार्ल्स विथ पाको सो फॉर चार्ल्स दे आर थ्री ऑप्शन नाउ फॉर एरेन द फोर्थ पेयर इज एरेन विथ गेल फिफ्थ ऑप्शन इज एरेन with paco now the sixth option is erin has two options two pairs now gail ye has only one option with paco so if we do vice versa erin with charles or charles with erin they both make a single option single pair charles with gail or gail with charles they have one pair charles with paco or paco with charles they have one pair represent one pair erin gail gail erin represents one pair erin paco paco erin represents one pair gail paco and paco represents represents one pair so total number of pairs are six so the option is g option g is the correct answer Dean drew the four shapes shown below. Hmm. The first one is square, second triangle, third hexagon, and the fourth is pentagon. Which of the following is true about all of the shapes? First option: each shape has exactly two pairs of parallel sides. option b each side has exactly 5 vertices option c each shape is a regular polygon option d each shape is quadrilateral